ranking of teams for the NCAA Championships. We have a result from the Women's Collegiate Invitational Varsity, the Jessup Whittier Cup, Heat 1, a win for USC, second Cal, third Washington State, who just got it over UCLA in fourth, University of San Diego in fifth, and Iowa in sixth. We're about ready to start with event number 11. This is the Women's Collegiate Four with Coxon. This is the Karen Plumley Courtney Cup. First of two heats, so three will move forward. Nearest to your screen perspective is in lane number six, Tulsa. Lane five, University of Southern, uh, check that, uh, University of Southern California, USC. In lane four, University of Oklahoma. Lane three, the University of San Diego. In lane two, UCLA. And in lane number one, Stanford University from our screen perspective. Crews standing ready at the stake boats. So I've, I've been online the, uh, the whole time. Looks like we have our starting call boat back in action and ready to go. Jim Jorgensen, from your perspective, please. Yes, yeah, so we're here at the start. Lane one, Stanford University. Lane two, UCLA. Three. University of San Diego, four, University of Oklahoma, USC in lane five, and the University of Tulsa in lane six. And we have a start of event number 11, women's collegiate four with Coxon. All boats cleanly away from the starting line, UCLA, the early leader. UCLA rowing in lane two. Leads Stanford by two seats. The third position is University of San Diego. Fourth, University of Oklahoma. Fifth, USC. And in sixth, the Golden Hurricanes of Tulsa. It's a four person crew. The coxswain lies down in the front and they're looking across and right now at 250 meters it's ucla your leader second spot stanford third in lane four oklahoma fifth spot too close to call the trailing crew university of tulsa the bruin crew now pushes the advantage almost one full length over Stanford University in lane one. Lane four, the Sooners from Oklahoma are pushing back in, now challenging for that second spot. So here we are at 500 meters, and it's UCLA, your leader. Second, Stanford University. Third, University of Oklahoma. Fourth, UC San Diego. Fifth, USC. And the University of Tulsa is in your sixth position. This is the first of two in our Women's Collegiate Four Plus. Quickly with the lane assignments once again, Stanford in lane number one, currently in second position. Our leader coming out of lane number two is University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA. USD, University of San Diego, is in lane number three. University of Oklahoma in lane four. USC, University of Southern California in lane five. And the Tulsa B crew is in lane number six. Always very difficult to tell exactly how these crews are gonna perform against each other so early in the season. Uh, what we have is coaches experimenting with various lineups. 
Uh, they've pretty much got sorted out who their first and second quartet of athletes are. They're going to be in sitting in their varsity eight. Their third and fourth quartet of athletes, they're going to be sitting in their second varsity eight. And this is, in theory, the fifth quartet of athletes. But at this stage of the season, coaches are seat racing athletes, moving people between crews. So we'll see how these uh, races sort themselves out it's into some sort of early season packing order for the women's collegiate fours. Almost as soon as this race began, our trailing wind has certainly picked up considerably, uh, just slightly crosswind. So we'll see how this works out. At least it won't be that strong uh, westerly wind that comes underneath the Ingram Street Bridge and seems to uh, mess with the crews as they come through that open area. Looks like UCLA have established a strong lead in this race. They're being tracked by the University of Oklahoma in lane number four, but Stanford University is still in touch with them in lane one. University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA in lane number two currently on the lead along the shoreline stanford university then go outside to the university of oklahoma the sooner is moving along smoothly outside of them usc university of san diego dropping back somewhat and the tulsa crew their b crew is on the far outside as they come through the third 500 are coming this is where races, of course, are won and lost. Uh, the third 500 is the critical part of every race. UCLA uh, maintaining their lead, but we're seeing a strong push from Stanford in lane one. Uh, Oklahoma is still in the mix here. Uh, obviously, this is another race where third position is crucial and goes through to the grand final. Uh, trailing at this stage, the University of San Diego and University of Oklahoma are still being pushed a little bit by USC, University of Southern Calier in lane five, and the Tulsa V-Boat in lane six. Kind of a double echelon race here as the top three crews essentially have open water at this time. The leader, UCLA in lane number two. Along the shoreline is Stanford University and they are consistently being pressed on the outside by the University of Oklahoma. However, nothing particularly will be gained by changing those positions. Then we have open water back to USC, to the far outside, the Tulsa B boat and the University of San Diego getting off to a relatively decent start has trailed back as this race has continued on. UCLA on the lead. Stanford along the shore, University of Oklahoma. That's the way it has read during the last portion of this race with open water back to USC, Tulsa, and the University of San Diego. UCLA, powder blue, open water, second lane out. I don't know whether University of Oklahoma and Stanford will try to make something out of this to finish in that second or third position. So far, neither has shown any inclination to really pick it up. They might just do it for drill. As now, as I say that, Stanford does pick it up along the shoreline. UCLA, number one, Stanford two, open water back to the University of Oklahoma. Then we go to USC. And we might just have an interesting little hassle here at the end just for bragging rights. University of San Diego and Tulsa going nose to nose with the uh, University of San Diego currently with an edge. Back towards our finish line, this is UCLA. Apparently the winner of this run in second spot, it looks to be Stanford unless something radical happens. And then University of Oklahoma picks up that third spot. In the center of our course, US, uh, USC in fourth. And it doesn't appear that the University of San Diego and Tulsa is going to make any presentation uh, for themselves here just for bragging rights. So it looks like University of San Diego 
will pick up that fifth position and Tulsa will finish outside trailing. Finish on that one unofficially, University of California, San Diego, one, Stanford, two, and in that third spot, the University of Oklahoma, followed by USC, University of San Diego, and the University of Tulsa. We've had some exciting finishes in today's races, and without regard to whether your loved one is in an exciting finish or not, a beautiful DVD is available for each individual race about an hour after the race has been completed. You can pick up the DVD available at the merchandise tent here at the San Diego Crew Classic. Uh, they're $14.99 and an opportunity to have a wonderful keepsake of this, the 2011 San Diego Crew Classic. A DVD of each individual race is available at the merchandise tent about an hour after the race is completed. A result of event number 10, the Women's Jessup Whittier Cup heat number two, the second heat, first Stanford, second washington third wisconsin those will be the crews that move through to the grand final to mix it up with usc cal and washington state fourth oklahoma fifth oregon state and sixth purdue